So what if Earth just decided to spin faster? Like suddenly, right? What's gonna happen? No warning, no gradual shift, just boom, you're moving way faster than before. Well, sounds harmless, right? Well, more speed equals more fun. Well, yeah, not quite. Let me tell you why. So right now, Earth spins at about 1,670 kilometers per hour. That's around 1,037 miles per hour at the equator. You don't feel it because we've always spun at that speed. But imagine if... So if starting right now, the Earth spun 50% faster, or double, right? Or even 10 times faster, what's going to happen? Well, here's what would really happen. First, gravity will feel weaker. Not because the Earth, you know, mass has changed, but because you've been flown outward by the increased centrifugal force. Now, it's like when you're spinning a chair really fast, right? You feel yourself pushing away from the center. That's what the whole planet would be actually doing, in fact. Now imagine this. You're standing on the equator and gravity feels lighter, right? Now you might weigh five to 10% less at the equator. Sounds pretty cool, doesn't it? Well, it is until you realize that your internal organs, you know, trees, buildings, they're all designed for one specific gravitational balance. Now messed up gravity means messed up biology. Birds can't fly properly, for example. Trees can't stay rooted, right? Skyscrapers, well, tilt and twist like jungle towers. Next up is water itself. Now, oceans will be pushed outwards towards the equator. So coastlines in places like Ecuador or Indonesia will be completely swallowed. Meanwhile, water near the poles might drain away. Now, entire cities become submerged in water. The equator floods, right? And polar regions dry out like a giant planetary centrifuge. And don't even get me started on the weather. Let me tell you about that. So faster spin equals stronger Coriolis effect. Now, that's the invisible force that helps spin hurricanes and jet streams. So, yeah, faster Earth means super hurricanes, twisted weather systems, and probably 200 miles per hour winds just casually shredding coastlines every week. So it's like Earth becomes a washing machine with no off switch. How about that? And if the Earth spun even faster, like 17 to 20 times faster, gravity would no longer be enough to hold everything down. That's when things really go sideways, literally, right? So you'd be flying like a loose 